It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to beer from Borasserie Le Chouf, and it's a bottle of their McChouf Belgian Ale at 8% ABV. There's a look at the label. That lovely bottle cap there. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. I had the pleasure Look at that smoke! I love these Belgian beers just for that matter, just for that amount of wonderful smoke that you get from the beer. It's that yeast, it's alive, and it's great. Yes, I had the pleasure to visit the brewery, they're called The Conig, out there in Belgium. I was there just two weeks ago. And I was quite surprised, to be honest. It's quite a large brewery. I hope I don't burst the bubble of people who think that that um, McShoof is produced in a in a tiny cottage or a tiny little brewery in Belgium. It's quite a large affair. Uh, they produce Duvel, Duvel Triple Hop. Uh, they got the Deconic brand. Uh, they produce. Oh, blimey, quickly, uh, it's gone. Um, the, the mainstream Belgian beer, lots of people drink, they produce that there. Um, it might come to me later on. Um, so, I suppose the romance of it, for me, a little bit, is gone. Um, it's probably going to be a great beer. But because I've been in and I've seen the actual size of the brewery, everything's kind of more or less automated um, that it's taken a little bit shine off of um, what I thought of, of McShoof could have been or, or was should I say so one finger slightly off my head lots of suspended yeast in the glass I don't know if my camera is picking that up but there is so much yeast in that glass floating around Let's, let's step back. I really wanted to see this. Here we go. Nah, it's not going to show you. Anyway, uh, mahogany coloured, loads of yeast, loads of haze, aroma. Oh. But if the romance was lost in me going to the brewery, it's all been brought back by the aroma of the beer. It's just wonderful. It's classic Belgium. Aromas, slightly spicy. Oh, it's fantastic. It's almost bread crummy and hoppy, and it's all from the yeast. That that lovely estery yeasty aroma. Let's dive in. Cheers. The carbonation is outrageous. As soon as the beer hits your tongue, it kind of starts doing laps, Formula One laps on your tongue. It's kind of like, boom, there it is. A little bit of sticky toffee, a toffee, little bit of licorice. A little bit of banana, that candied sugar from the Belgium yeast, that spiciness, oh it's a good beer, it's a good beer. I just wonder how, how on earth, it's such a big brewery, um, how do they produce such, it tastes cottage industry cottage industry it tastes small it doesn't taste like a big beer but it's produced by quite a big company they should be proud of this I started off my review a little bit negative if you like towards the brands that they produce and, and everything else and 
and but at the end of the day if it's a good beer like this is then it's a good beer regardless and i think what i should be saying here is that there are some big brews in america who are producing some fantastic beer and in belgium there's a great big brewery in de Conig and they're brewing still fantastic Le Chouf and McShouf beers from Brasserie Le Chouf. Well done guys, I'm going to rate it. For me, for me, the beer, for me, the beer gets a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 for me, Low Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe for our daily beer reviews and cheers.